Hello, welcome back to the channel. And this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings. Generally like to talk a lot of bollocks at tabletop gaming in general. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a game that you play in the dark. We're going to be talking about Nacht de Magier or Magier or whatever. Anyway, I think it's translated as Night of the Magicians. And in this game, you'll be turning the lights off. You'll be trying to push your magician against these discs on a plinth trying to get one of your cauldrons to fall into a pit of fire. So in this video, we're going to be giving you a very good overview of the rules, be telling you what we do like, what we don't like. We'll come back and we'll tell you whether or not Night of the Magicians is still worth playing. It was 2006, this was first released. So it was that 15 years after it was first released. So remember, if you're new here, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Leave a comment in that section down below. And we'll see you after this. Bollocks! So, Night of the Magicians, how do you play this game? So the first thing you're going to do in this game is you're going to put the cardboard plinth in the middle of the table. You'll get the fire ring and you stick it in the hole in the middle and then you'll put the fire disc in the centre of the the plinth, right? Each player gets one magician. You'll see that each magician has a symbol on it that corresponds to a number of cauldrons, little discs that you're going to place around the edge of the fire disc. And then what you do, you'll then arrange the remaining discs. You've got big, medium, and small discs, and you'll arrange them in a pattern around the cauldrons. So before we start playing, you're going to have to charge the game pieces. You'll see that the cauldrons and the magicians have a glow in the dark sticker on them. And what you have to do, you have to get a light or put them up against the light so that the glow in the dark sticker glows in the dark, right? Then you'll turn the lights off and away you go. So on your turn, what you'll do, you'll take your magician and you'll push it from the edge of the plinth into the discs. And the aim of the game is to try and get one of your cauldrons to fall into the hole in the center of the board. You'll keep pushing until you hear a clack noise and that means that one of the small, medium or large pieces has fallen onto the table and then it will be the next player's turn. So if your magician is already in play, you've got the option of either continuing to push from where your magician pawn is, or you can then lift your magician out and you can start pushing from the perimeter of the plinth. So you keep doing this, you keep going round and round and round until one person has managed to push one of their cauldrons into the hole in the center of the board, and that player will be the winner of Night of the Magicians. So what do we like about Night of the Magicians? So the first thing that we like about this, and it's pretty bleeding obvious in it, is the theming of the game. There's not that many games that you can play in the dark. And no, I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about the other ones, like I think it's called Nyctophobia or Nyctophobia. You're not really playing in the dark, you're playing it as if you can't see. So this is one of the only games that we know of where you actually turn the lights off and you can play in the dark. I'm sure there's loads of others, there's loads of them that use blindfolds, but this one in particular is really unique. And if anything, even if you don't like the game, it's still a bit of a spectacle when it's on the table. You know what I mean? So the second thing that we really like about Night of the Magicians is that the components, not only are they really, really good quality, they're really, really chunky. The magicians look wonderful. The glow in the dark stuff looks great, but they actually do serve a purpose in terms of gameplay. You need to have these chunky, really good quality pieces for them to make a noise when they fall off with a plinth, right? If they were just made out of, say, I don't know, foam you wouldn't hear nothing would you but then i suppose you wouldn't have a game made out of foam would you but yeah the fact that they are really good quality nice and heavy and the component quality does have a direct input into the all peer limited mechanics of the game super so the final thing and probably the most important thing about this game is my kids find this game sort of enchanting yeah there's nothing better than turning the lights on when you've done with this one and seeing their faces smiling and generally they've always have a good time it's almost like that feeling when you come out of cinema and you feel like you've been transported to another dimension right maybe not as extreme as that but my kids do feel like they get drawn in because the lights are off and it's just wonderful to see my kids faces when they play this one love it so what don't we like about night of the magicians first thing we don't like about it is it's a 
bit of a chore to set up in it. I mean, you've got a, a range of discs around and when you're putting the discs out, they move around a lot. And sometimes there's gaps and you end up moving discs and then they move each other. It's almost as bad as playing that game. Hey, that's my fish when you've got to put the hexes out and they all move around. And even if you get a, a mat for that, they, they tend to move and jump around, right? So it can be a bit of a chore to set up. And uh, yeah, it's just a bit boring, really. Second thing that we don't like about this one is that sometimes the discs do fall when you haven't even moved your magician. And the rules do say that if that happens, then you basically forfeit your turn. And that is a bit crap because you can't see the discs without any glowing of dark stickers on them. Sometimes they might be precariously teetering on the edge, right? And that's not your fault, is it? So it can be a bit of a pain. And I generally house rule it out and say that if you haven't touched your magician and one of the discs falls off, then it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you like because when you're playing with kids, there's those sort of stupid rules that you've got to throw out the window, innit? So the final thing we don't like about Night of the Magicians is that sometimes when you are pushing your magician into the mass of discs, the cauldrons just seem to take on a life of their own. And when you're pushing one way, they seem to go another way. And there's not really that much skill involved. It tends to be just pop luck whether or not you can move them in the right direction and when you're playing with very very young children as i have done in the past with my kids they do sometimes get frustrated if this doesn't go their way and that might just be down to my kids wanting everything now and wanting to win every time but even me with my halo above my head do sometimes get frustrated with this game and i have been known to throw my massive adult size rattle out of my pram on a few occasions yeah just don't tell anybody why right? so to summarize is night of the magicians worth your time and bother today and in the future so we are going to say yes this is a unique and albeit briefly engaging game that works best with young children right it can be a little bit fiddly to set up and it can be a little bit random when you are actually playing a game and you're trying to push your magician and trying to get your cauldron into the hole, right? And in that respect, some kids and adults even may find this game to be a little bit too unfair, right? But having said that, if you're looking for a novel experience that isn't too cumbersome or certainly isn't rules heavy, this one might be the game for you. So there you go, that's Night of the Magicians. And uh, yeah, remember, if you knew it, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Leave a comment in that section down below and we'll see you next time.